New at 11. Crime Tracker uncovers a new warning. Thieves spoiling your summer fun. The crime police are seeing for the first time at local pools. Caught on camera. Flames out of control at a propane plant. Ooh, did you see that? Could this happen here? Water recedes and leaves behind a muddy mess. I was with Governor Pat McCrory as he saw the damage for the first time. Our short break is over. I am tracking this huge storm system that will be hitting the Carolinas tomorrow. This WBTV High Definition program is sponsored by Honda Dealers of the Carolinas. WBTV News at 11 starts right now. Tonight, the rain, the flooding, and the chance for new storms. This huge swirl of green and red stretches from Indiana to Alabama. And by tomorrow, it'll sit right on top of the Carolinas. Good evening. I'm Paul Cameron. And I'm Molly Grantham. Just today, the water finally receded across many neighborhoods. We set Sky 3 into the air to check out the damage it left behind. Roads reopened in Cramerton. Crews spent the day removing mud and debris, although this SUV still sits where the floodwaters carried it. Yesterday, water was up to the roof line. All that water is now moving into South Carolina. This is what it did to Lake Wyatt. You see that? Huge piles of debris washed into the lake from flooded rivers. And look at Burris Road Bridge in York County. You can see a rushing water washed away a large section of that bridge right there. That road is now closed as crews try to repair the damage. We have continuing team coverage tonight. Eric Thomas is tracking the new system headed our way. But we begin with David Spont, who toured the worst damage today with the Governor, Pat McCoy. David? We're back in the newsroom tonight after spending much of the afternoon with Governor McCrory as he toured some of the hardest hit areas. We can get through it. God gave us everything. 